Welcome back to a brand new video. I know I haven't done videos in a long, long, long time, but, uh, well, this is a new one, so let's get started. So basically, in this video, I'll be teaching you two things. One, how to make gradients uh, in GUIs, in case you want to use that, and also how to make it so that it changes color, but I'm going to do them in two separate things because they won't work if they're together. So first and start a GUI, let's insert a screen GUI and insert a text button. You can resize this however you want. I'm actually gonna turn off border size pixel because it looks a little bit better that way. So looks like this. And if you wanna make it let me make it round a little bit. This is, you can do this without the plugin, but um, you can, you don't have to download it. You could just go to, um, you just go to UI corner and then you can just, and it automatically roundifies it a little bit. And in this UI corner, you can change its corner radius to like a hundred, might be a little bit excessive, but whatever. All right, anyway, now what we can do is we can also add in a UI gradient. All right, so in the UI gradient, it uh, in properties, it should just be white. So what you want to do is you want to click on the, uh, this and then go to the three dots. And that will allow you to create a color sequence. So this is the starting time. So let's make this say red or something. So as you can see, it fades out to white, and that's how you do that. And then if you uh, go over here, and you can make this color any other color. So how about, um, you know what? I think I'll just leave it as white. So I'll just close it. So that's how to make gradients. All right, next up, we have the color changing GUI. I'm just gonna quickly delete this gradient the color changing gui is actually pretty simple what we have to do is you got to insert a local script in the text button and we can get uh and we just do script.parent.mouse dot mouse button one click connect function all right and when you insert the uh, when you click enter this end comes here and you have to create three variables so you could do local uh, rand one uh, local rand two and local rand three so now we just have to set them equal to something so we can say uh, local rand one should equal uh, let's see okay so we have to do a math dot random math dot random basically creates a random number in between the you know parameters in here so we could just say one comma um, 255 because that's the max and then we can set this is equal to math.random actually we can just copy paste this so yeah copy oops copy paste that like three times all right and there we go so it's creating the random numbers but how do we set the color of it to be that so what we have to do is we'd have to do script dot parent dot uh, background color three is equal to we have to set it equal to color three dot rg uh, dot from rgb uh from red green blue so that's what rgb stands for so we'd have to put in the number red number blue and the number green so so you'd have to say rand one comma Oops, rand two, comma, rand three. All right, and then it'll it should change to these completely different numbers. And now I'm just gonna show you a quick thing. So let's just click play real quick. <clears throat> this is taking a bit to load. But if we click play, see the button, click it, changes color to a random one. And then we click it again, changes a different color. 
different color and as you can see they're all completely random you can literally keep on just clicking and it'll be like a different amount of combinations so that's great right so i'm going to show you guys something else if we go here and let's copy paste these well you don't don't do this to your code or else it'll not work but i'm gonna do it just to show you so we put these outside of the uh, outside of the event and we click play it's probably going to take a little a little bit to load but uh give it a sec but when it loads okay when it loads when you click it it changes to a random color right but then when you click it, it just stays the same color. It, it There's no change. There's absolutely no change. So that is not good. And, and the reason for this is because it just has a predetermined three random numbers. But every time we want a completely different set of random numbers. So we that's why we have to have these in the event because we want three completely different random numbers than last time so yep that's how you make a randomized color changing gui and a ui gradient and also i hope you liked the extra bonus of the ui corner uh, and you can just yeah that might have been better from the start but um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe um, I can't say that I have a goal for posting a lot of videos, I don't know, I'm kind of busy, but, you know, I'll try, so, it would mean, it means a lot if you could like and subscribe, so thank you guys, and remember, this is SaberKai668.